Thanks, President. There was a good skit doing the rounds in the last week about how a banker persuades an economist that cycling is bad for the planet by explaining that a cyclist doesn't buy cars, doesn't borrow money to buy them, doesn't pay for insurance policies, doesn't buy fuel, doesn't pay for maintenance or need repairs, and doesn't pay for parking. And actually, they're much healthier as well. In other words, the point being made was that there are substantial vested interests from the car industry standing in the way of the development of the revolutionary change that is necessary if we are to really turn to the type of potential that a stri cycling strategy could have. I'm a huge car fan. I've always loved my car, but the days of the car being the mode of private transport are over. The only way forward is cycling and proper public investment in public uh, transport. My colleague, the cyclist Sean Kelly, made the point about Katie Malua, the Irish Georgian singer who's playing in Strasbourg, and she had a song 12 years ago called There Are Nine Million Bicycles in Beijing. There's probably 90 million of them there now because the Chinese under that to run, understand to run cities, we need bicycles and public transport rather than cars.